Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. Today we are talking about new knives for the week of February 20th, 2023. And I cheese graded my thumb yesterday and chose a whole lot of thumb studs. So we'll see how this goes. Let's talk knives. First knife on the table is the new Cold Steel Verdict. And this one has the G10 handle, so it's going to be a little more expensive. These ones are coming in at $93, $92.95 on the website right now. But it gets you that nice slim G10 handle. And I think this really harkens back to the sort of the origins of the Verdict, which is the larger Code 4 line. And they were known because they were a big knife to fill out your hand and everything, but it was a very slim aluminum one. And this one lightens it down even more using G10 instead of aluminum, but it's still as slim as its bigger brother. And it's just a great everyday carry folder featuring the triad lock, tried and true, and a reversible deep carry pocket clip. A great everyday carry option from Cold Steel, and Cold Steel is mostly known for their big, honky, chonky, take it to war and back and still run just fine. This is built just as tough as those, but it's quite a bit smaller and easier to carry. Next up, we have a bit of a new brand and it's called Iconic, spelled E-I-K-O-N-I-C. Yes, Iconic. And this is a brand that I just heard about at SHOT Show. I met a fellow named Carlton who started it. And he's been a long time behind the scenes knife industry veteran. And he contacted quite a few cool designers. So this one is the RCK9 designed by Ramon Chavez. It goes for $90, and that's the cheapest Chavez design I have ever seen, which I think is really awesome because you're getting that definitely a Chavez blade and Chavez handle, but uh, a more everyday carry size and definitely a more pocket-friendly price, and I really appreciate that. And Iconic also has a few other designs from other big names like Brian Nadal. You might have heard of him. All of his designs are in Sharp by Design for the most part. And also Brian Brown, who just designed the brand new Wee Trogon. A very exciting list of designers who are historically only in the very premium space. So the fact that you can get some of these designs at a bit more of a budget-friendly price point is really exciting. It's a, it's a direction I'm excited for the industry to move. And my friend Carlton, you know how to pick them. You pick really great designers and really great knives. I'm excited to see where Iconic goes in the future. Next up, we have the Fox Knives Schnops, C-H-N-O-P-S, however you want to say that. This one is a front flipper, but it's a very refined knife, and you kind of have to hold it to understand. I saw this on the website when I was picking knives for the new stuff, and I thought, you know, the Schnapps is a pretty cool looking knife. It's kind of slim, it stands up on its own, with that very interesting front flipper, but then when you pick it up, it just feels even more premium than it looks. And I think the thing that first I noticed is this spine. It is the most rounded, spine I've ever felt. Very soft, very highly polished, and I just imagine that would be super easy on the hand. Very easy to use, and a nice deep carry pocket clip that is fully reversible, and then a barely, like it just has just enough exposed jimping on the line liner so you can get to it. If your finger isn't cheese grated, it's a lot easier. But it's just a very well done knife that is a clean and simple design. Something, and if I had a suit coat and a tie combo that went with this color scheme, I would get this all day long. Kind of has the Wall Street vibe, if you ask me. Anyway, the, the schnapp starts at $160 and changes between on finishing who, what, when, where, why, whatever you're doing. Next knife on the table is the Heretic Manticore S, I believe. I'm not sure how the Heretic line, I have a suffix letter of the Heretic Manticore it goes, but. This one's new, and I'm very excited by it because it uses this purple camo carbon fiber. And I really am enjoying these camo carbon fibers that are coming out. I feel like the layers impregnated right where they go, and then the angle it's cut at, it sort of, it really makes the design pop in the light. So my buddy Jacob is one of the copywriters here, and he picked one of these up, and he says his favorite thing is the slide. So on a lot of OTFs, you want to put your thumb at the very back of it, and then bring it to the front to bring it back. But if you're using your dominant hand, like I am not, oftentimes you can actuate it with just rocking your thumb just a little bit instead of having to move your thumb just because of how, like it's got a kind of a podium and then a true knurling up here. It's a very grippy thumb slide and it makes it easy to actuate the knife without moving your thumb too much. And I really appreciate that because on a lot of these USA made OTFs, especially when they're fresh out of the box, the spring is really stiff. 
and sometimes it can be really hard to beat it, but if a good slide can make it easier to beat that spring. And then of course, the milled pocket clip with the little ball roller to keep it easy on your pocket and a little glass breaker as is customary on those Heretic Manticores. A very exciting knife and I love it and it's going for $599 right now at bladehq.com. Next up, we're gonna talk about something new and exciting from CRKT. Now, when, we, when Ryan came over back in December, he didn't tell us about this. And I was like, Ryan, why didn't you tell me? This is super exciting. It's everything people have been asking for. It's USA made using very premium materials, but it's still a design from a really cool name that is a really fun thing to put in your pocket. This one is the Lurch design, the LCBK. It's made by Hogue here in the United States. So in addition to that crossbar lock in the USA made by Hogue, you're getting a 154 cm blade, which is a very tough stainless steel, great for all your hard everyday carry use. I definitely wouldn't trust it to like baton through seasoned hickory, but for all my box opening and for cutting through rope or whatever else I'm doing every single day, it's a great steal for that. And there's another one, the, another Lurch design called the Definitive. They're really awesome. They're coming in at $215 and it's a USA made knife, so you're gonna pay a USA made price, but you're still getting a really cool design from a really cool designer and great materials, great mechanisms made in the USA. And lastly on the table, we have a knife that if you watched our recent fixed blade video, you might have read in the comments people talking about the new and exciting Buck Packlight 2.0 series. So this one's the Packlight Pro Field Knife. So you're getting the drop point blade, the Boss Heat Treated S35 VN blade, and these little micarta inlays. But if you don't want to pay the further north price point, I think this one goes for 130, 140, somewhere in that range. You can get the cheaper ones, which start at around $50 and they use the 420 steel, which Buck is known for and has proved itself for years to be a very good steel. But you are getting a very, very light knife and a series of them from the little tiny skinning caping knives all the way up to the big fillet knives. You're getting really awesome knives that are incredibly light. I think pack light is a really good name for them. So a lot of hunters are spending a lot of time out in the woods. They're hiking long miles to find the mighty elk they're hunting and it just gets very heavy very fast. They're cutting their toothbrush in half. They're thinking, uh, maybe I just don't need a full magazine in my rifle. I think I can do it with one, maybe two shots. I don't need any more ammo than that. They are trimming ounces every place they can. And Buck sees that and hears you, and they are making the perfect knife for that. This whole package is so incredibly light, but it offers a lot of cutting edge, a very nice build quality, a comfortable grip, there's nothing not to like about it, especially if you're a hunter or even a backpacker or camper who's going far out in the woods. Anyway, that is six awesome new knives for the week of the 20th of February. Hope you enjoy them. Hopefully next week my thumb will be back in order. We'll see you all in the next one.